hi hello friends welcome back to my channel once again and in this video we're gonna see how to use SASS in ASP.NET in this video I gonna show you how to use a uh, syntactically awesome style sheet in ASP.NET MVZ projects or you can use this in MVZ or web forms in whatever the application you want uh, ASP.NET MVZ or ASP.NET Engine doesn't have a default compiler for SASS uh, uh, files. We are uh, gonna use a third party application to compile SASS and uh, let's see how it's gonna work. So let's get started. Before we're gonna start, I'm gonna create a new project, new MVZ project. Testing app. Okay, MVZ at the project to be created. Okay, project created. Let's uh, test the application whether it is running or not. Okay, uh, project is running successfully. I gonna delete all this uh, uh, panel and create uh, one single H1 tag and uh, show you how to uh, use a, a CSS in .NET. So let's start the application. Okay, now. I'm gonna go in a home and index a CSS I'm gonna remove all these contents. Dev class row then h1 inside the dev h1 class I'm having Heading CSS so, all over the formal testing purpose. Okay, now I'm gonna go and create a CSS file, then have this CSS inside the HTML. So for that, we go to content, right click, add, new item, we go ahead and search SASS, style sheet, I gonna put name as custom SASS, now add here, so just copy this class name inside I'm gonna change the color I want my text in uh, red in color so red I'm gonna use a bundle or config for you uh, in this uh, concepts if you don't uh, know the if you uh, can't find what is a bundle or config uh, I uh, place my video description and below for bundle or config go ahead and check it in bundle config under the C content slash CSS, I'm gonna say custom dot SCSS. Let's see whether the ASP dot at MVZ having the default compiler for this custom dot SCSS file. So save it, run it. 
if ASP dot and MVZ having a default compared for SESS, it will work now. The hello world should be in red in color. So it's still in black. Let's go ahead and inspect. Here you can see the basic type LASS from the uh, package itself is just getting it is not uh, getting a class from our custom dot uh, CSS so let's go and stop the program for this we can give CSS here but we don't have CSS we want to write code in a CSS then compile using third-party uh, plugin so the best third-party tool is go ahead and extension update online web Compiler, go ahead and download it. Yeah, it's download. See, once you close all the Visual Studio instances, it will start to uh, uh, install. So close it, close it here. Now, it will start to install. Once it's completed, we can go ahead and see the Visual Studio. Yeah, now it has uh, completed. Close it. Open Visual Studio. project if you go ahead and right click on custom.scss you could see the web compiler uh, extension to be installed if you go ahead Right click it, go ahead and if you say compile file, it is compiling the file. Once it's done, you can see the custom.css and custom.min.css. Uh, you have, you all, uh, you can get a minified CSS file as well for this uh, CSS. We can write a code and keep this uh, CSS files in a bundle.config in order to uh, I'll run the code so now just rebuild the project run it It works now because we just compiled SCSS to CSS and keep the CSS in a bundle.config file. So if you want to do any modification, I'm going ahead as CSS and keeping heading to so color is green. So index. this. index I'm keeping another h2 tag class getting to let's say it says works go ahead and right click it compile recompile file it is compiling compiled successfully rebuild application and run it.
yeah SSS also works. If you want to do any modification, just go ahead and right click, recompile file. That's all about this, guys, with this video how to use SSS in ASP.NET. In this way, you can use the ASP.NET web forms and uh, MVZ and uh, what kind of uh, ASP.NET project it is. You can use the same method in order to produce SSS. Uh, in your project, you can simply ask instead of SCSS, we can use uh, CSS. We no need to compile applications, but SCSS is simply good. It uh, beautifies uh, CSS the way we written a code. If you uh, don't know the SCSS uh, yet, just uh, subscribe my video and uh, press the bell icon to get my latest video updates. Yeah, CSS tutorial is all the right away. So, thank you.